Hello students, today we will talk about how to use machine learning with Excel to execute uh, a trading strategy. We're going to use the a trading strategy called EMA, Exponential Moving Average, a trading strategy using machine learning, and we're going to apply this machine learning using the Excel. But first, the question is, what is that EMA? Well, Exponential Moving Average, it's um, it's, it's a type of moving average that gives more weight to recent prices. For example, uh, we look to the last 20 weeks. If we are a weekly trader, we look to the last 20 weeks. Uh, but we're not going to look to look last 20, 10 years or five years. Uh, calculation, the EMA, the price, the closing price. Suppose the closing price of Amazon is $100. The previous EMA, which is something we're going to calculate, multiply by multiply everything multiplied by multiplier plus previous EMA. Multiplier is two divided number of periods plus one. Probably by now you say, Yosef, what is that? I have no idea what are you talking about it? No problem because we will have, we will have uh, Excel and so you can see how I'm doing it and you'll understand what exactly this formula. So no panic. Um, and then the purpose is identity trend and potentially buy sell signals in the stock market. Why they use the ME? It's a trend identification and lag reduction. Uh, setting up the EME for the trading. For short term, we use 9 to 12. If you're weekly, 9 to 12 week. Uh, if you're monthly, 9 to 12 months. Uh, mid medium trade term, 26 to 50. Again, if you're weekly, 26 weeks to 50 weeks. Uh, if you're long-term trader, 100 to 200. And then how we're going to uh, use the software to implement EMA and then other examples is for EMA is nine days or yes. Um, a crossover strategy here, bullish signal when a short-term EMA cross above a long-term EMA, bearish signal when the short-term EMA across this. I'll explain that. You're still saying, what does that mean? I'll explain it. And then other things, Really similar to EMA strategy, RSI is another sim simple moving average convergence diver divergence, uh, max, um, max D. Uh, so there are similar strategies. So we're going to do the simple one. What is that? And we're going to build this one, the formula, so you'll understand what I'm doing. Uh, let's assume you are interested in, in buying a trading SMP index, for example. So if you are interested in SMP index, um, you cannot buy the index. You buy an ETF for SMP, which is Spider SPI. It's a Spider for the SMP index. It reflects the SMP index. Index itself, nobody can buy it. You buy the ETF of the index. All right, and then it's coming here. You go historical data, and we will trade weekly. Now, if you want a daily, you do it daily. If you want a monthly, you do it monthly. Let's go weekly uh, for this uh, assignment. Uh, how much we're going to go? Um, let's go max. So we have a weekly. We went to the maximum and download the data. And we have it here. Here you have it. Good. So all what I need is just the date and adjust it to close or close. I'm going to use a chance to adjust to the close. So I'm going to delete all of those. I didn't need them. And now I'm going to add three rows into rows. I'll explain why. EMA. Need the number of period, if you want a 20. And then you need to calculate the uh, um, the uh, multiplier, which is equal to divided by the period plus one. Period, if you're short term 20, here, may change, you can change it. And then this is a multiplier. So we go to the Multiplier equal to divide the number of period plus one. 
And that's exactly what I did. Number of period, which is D3, divided D, D2 plus one. D3 divided D2, which is number of period plus one. Good. So now we're gonna calculate the EMA. The EMA, we say 20 here. Okay, so we're gonna go 20 here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And we can do 25, you can do 15, it's up to you. So I'm gonna calculate here the average because we're doing moving average. Fx average, okay. And you say I wanna have the average in the past 20 weeks. All right, so that's the uh, moving average. All right, so trading strategy. EMA equal close minus previous EMA multiplied by multiplier plus previous EMA. So in, in this case, The next EMA, that's the first one, equal to the close, which what, what we close today, and you open parenthesis, minus the previous EMA, multiply by multiplier. This is a multiplier here. Plus the previous EMA. Now here, because the multiplier is fixed, you have to do a dollar. So D4, dollar, dollar. So when you do drag it here, we're gonna drag it all the way down. So you see here, D4 is again. All right, so that's the EME, EME, double click. Okay. EME equal close, the price close for the S&P minus previous EME, EME multiply by multiplier, plus the previous EME. Probably by now you say, yes, I still didn't understand what you're doing. I, I, I understand how you do calculate this, but what are you doing here, the big picture? Well, now we're gonna go to the big picture. So you have a two strategies, for example, buy the S&P and hold, buy and hold. Suppose you wanna buy the S&P starting from this week. I'm gonna mark this strategy uh, in yellow. So buy and hold, suppose we're gonna start our trading strategy here first week. So, which is suppose you start with uh, equal, equal, Suppose you start with 10,000. You have a $10,000 or a thousand, make it simpler. So you have a thousand, you buy it here, next time equal. The closing price for the S&P divided by opening price, multiply by how much money you have invested. So here, if you invested a thousand, end of the week, the S&P went down, if you can see here. So you invest a thousand. In the first week, the S&P went down from 25,562 to 25,438. So that means your portfolio become to be this. And then double it, right? And then you drag it all the way down. Here we go. That will be your portfolio if you if you go strategy number one, buy the SMB and hold. You didn't sell. All right, so now we're gonna go to the second strategy, which is EME strategy. You say here, you start with a thousand also. And we're gonna color it in a different color here, uh, maybe 
like green maybe. So you again you start with a thousand, but now you're gonna have a different strategy, not buy and hold. We're gonna do uh, something different. So you say here, F equal F. Open parenthesis. If the EME, EMA greater than the price, comma, then you buy your thousand invested and you return equal this divided by this comma otherwise if not by this close the parenthesis here i need to do some modification if c28 greater than b28 so you're here now with a thousand and you say here i will invest here i put money here if the eme is greater than the smp but in this case the smp is greater than eme then i'm not going to do a trade i'm going to keep the thousand So here you can see that always the SMP is higher than the EMA. Tell here, here you start seeing that the EMA become to be, for example, here, the EMA is greater than the SMP. So here's an example of EMA greater than SMP. And then you go with your strategy here. And then the bottom line is which strategy is better? this strategy or this strategy. So here we can see that if you continue with the EMA strategy, you will have a $2,300. Whereas here you will have a $20,323. So that means the strategy buy and hold, buy and S&P and hold will be better for you because the profit here will be equal, let's put it. This, whereas the profit here is this, 2,300 here, but this strategy give you 20,000, let me do that, dollar. Okay, so you can see here, This strategy is better than this strategy. Okay. Now, what if you change the the period? Here we said 20 period, and then you did, it's arbitrary. It can be two, can be three, can be anything the, the, to calculate the multiplier. What if you make it three, for example? If you make it three, enter, then you will be 2,900 when it's 23. This is not going to change. What if you do it five here? Multiplier. Then the higher, so with the multiplier here, the more the bigger the multiplier, your investment give you more money. But here, for example, seven, you go down six, 4,000. So you can choose a multiplier here, give you a better return. What is your homework? Your homework is go back again to the slides, go through the, go through the EMA. You will have the slides also in your, uh, in your tab. Go through the EMA, understand the formula here, close minus previous the multiple and multiplier plus previous EMA. You choose any index of interest. I did the SMP, you can use the NASDAQ, you can use Apple, for example. You can use Apple AAPL. Click on that. And then you go historical data. And you do the same weekly. And you do maximum. If you will. Download the data. Uh, delete this. 
read this four and do the same here and do the same strategy I did here in this Excel that you will have it also in you can even just put the numbers for Apple, which is January 25. Let me see if I can have it here. January 25, 93. January 25, 93. January 25, here, 93. So all what you have to do is all of that, copy, go here and right-click values, and boom, you can see how is your strategy going here with the two, eight, for example. So you can see your strategy here versus if you go buy and hold with Apple, it's better than EMA strategy. Again, your homework here is to use machine learning. Here is a machine learning. The machine learning is due to for you, the machine learning perform back testing to you. So if you have a strategy, first of all, you go, you do machine learning to do the back testing. If you like this result, then you go with the EMA. This is a weak strategy. We know that buy and hold is bigger, but maybe for a crypto or a volatile stocks, the EMA is better. So you can do in your homework, choose a different uh, company than, uh, so that's for Apple, for example, still buy and hold for Apple even better. But look at this Apple, interesting. If you put a thousand dollars buy and hold in Apple in 19, uh, January 25, 93, you will have a $783,000 as of today, January. Today is actually, we are August uh, 24. So that's a good strategy of buy and hold versus EME. I'm gonna show you other strategies in different videos, but all what you have to do, pick a company, do the strategy, they play with the multiplier, change this, saving, for example, maybe one here. Um, so you can do this. Also, when I did this, uh, uh, when I did the F, if this greater than this, you can do also, if this minus, if, if C2, C, C28, Minus B28, if the price difference greater, for example, minus 0 0.05 cents, for example, still buy. It works. It just work. You can do that too. Not only if this is greater than that. It's your decision. You can do here. When I relax that, now we have more money here. And here is to change the number. So you can play with the multiplier. You can play with the strategy. I change that. 2.0, maybe you can make it 0.10 cents. And then make more tolerance. Then you, your price going up. So you can play with this strategy. So play with that, create a video, play with that. And I hope you enjoy the using machine learning to do the back testing. Thank you so much. And if you have a question, let me know.